Time now for the morning rush. A woman in Hobbs is scheduled to be in court today after being charged with attempted murder. This after police say that she threw her newborn baby into a dumpster. Just a warning, you might find this video disturbing. Now, Hobbs police say that on Friday afternoon, 18 year old Alexis Avila gave birth and reportedly drove to a dumpster, then flung her newborn baby into the trash. At last word, Hobbs police say that the baby is okay. A $5,000 reward is being offered for information that leads to the arrest of a man accused of shooting a Farmington police officer. 22 year old Elias Buck escaped from La Plata County Jail in late December. And while authorities were searching for him, they say that he shot Farmington police officer Joseph Barreto on Friday. Anyone that with information is asked to call Farmington Police. Police say that they are still attempting to get a hold of actor Alec Baldwin's cell phone for their investigation into the deadly Rust movie set shooting. Last month, Baldwin's attorney said that they requested that authorities get a warrant to obtain his phone. A search warrant was issued for the device in December, but Baldwin still has not turned over his phone. Well, happening today, for those who live near Cla Cloudcroft, smoke will be visible from a planned burn on the Lincoln National Forest. The forest says that they are burning a slash pit. Now, that's a place where residents can take vegetative material for burning. Smoke will be visible from Cloudcroft as well as along highways 244 and 82. Erica. And here's a look at the school day forecast. Temperatures are starting in the upper 20s, so bundle up. By this afternoon, we'll be back into the low 50s. A little bit cool, so you'll want to keep around some of those warmer layers. Bernalillo County is still dealing with the after effects of a ransomware attack, but they will still have some employees out today at Alvarado Square to answer questions. Property taxes are due today, but the treasurer's office uh, cannot take the payments in person. It's because of the attack. There's no word as to when the system will be completely back online. Well, don't be surprised if you receive a letter from the IRS in the coming weeks. The agency says that they are sending out information about the third stimulus checks that were distributed last year. Stimulus checks are not taxable, but they will still need to be reported on the 2021 tax returns to be filed by this spring. Well, if you didn't get your tree, your Christmas tree, out to a recycling center, you'll have to find another way to get rid of it because tree cycling is over. The city of Albuquerque's Solid Waste Department, Parks and Rec, and PNM, they joined forces for that two week long event. This was the 30th year of tree cycling in the metro. Erica. And here's a look at the threat index. We do have those cold temperatures this morning and a chance for spotty showers south. Everywhere else is going to be very quiet this Monday. Well, it's National Blood Donor Month, and UNM Hospital is reminding people of their need for blood donors. The hospital is the state's only level one trauma center, and it sees more than 7,000 trauma cases each year. UNM is working with Vitalin to for the blood drives. That's where you can head over to their website and then sign up to donate. A new Office of Inspector General report shows an Albuquerque City employee violated city policy after getting into a crash in a city vehicle and then failing to properly report it. It was at the intersection of 5th and Tijeras, and in the report, the city staffer admits that they made a bad judgment call while driving. Now, no one was hurt, but damages to the city car and the other vehicle involved ended up costing taxpayers about $5,000. Bob Saget, the actor and comedian best known as the dad on the TV sitcom Full House, was found dead in a hotel room in Orlando, Florida. The cause of, the, of Saget's death was unclear. Emergency responders found the actor unresponsive on Sunday afternoon in a room at the Ritz Carlton in Orlando and pronounced him dead at the scene. Bob Saget was 65 years old. Erica. All right, let's get a check on the morning drive. On the maps, we're looking clear. No accidents or slowdowns to tell you about right now. And here's a check on Tracker. You can see that volumes are picking up on the roadways. We will let you know, though, if any accidents do show up on the maps. Well, some skiers at Beach Mountain, North Carolina, received a surprise. That's when a pipe began shooting snow into the air. The pipe was part of a machine that makes snow. Now, it malfunctioned when a skier hit it. This happened on Friday, and two people were taken to a hospital with some non life threatening injuries. Time now for the five facts. At number five, if you did not get your Christmas tree out to a recycling center, you'll have to find another way to get rid of it because tree cycling is over. The city of Albuquerque's Solid Waste Department, the Parks and Rec, and PNM joined forces for that two week long event. The only requirement was to remove the decorations and tree stands as well as the lights, and they would then mulch the tree for free. Well, this is the 30th year of tree cycling in the city. At number four, Bernalillo County property taxes are due today, but the county will not be able to collect them in person. The treasurer's office is still dealing with the after effects of a ransomware attack. The county's communications director wants to ensure people that the county employees will be on hand today at Alvarado Square today to answer any questions about that. And uh, the treasurer's office is still accepting tax payments through its online portal, county drop boxes, and any branch of the Rio Grande Credit Union. Erica. 
And at number three, we are going to be seeing some mild temps today. We'll be in the mid to upper 40s and low to mid 50s across the state. You'll definitely notice the warm up in eastern New Mexico. And number two, breaking overnight, one person is dead this morning after they were shot in southeast Albuquerque. Police were called out to San Pedro Drive southeast near Catherine just before 2 a.m. Officers say that they found one person dead and one other person arrived at the hospital, also with gunshot wounds. There's no word as to their condition this morning, and we will keep you updated as we learn more. And at number one, an 18-year-old Hobbs woman is scheduled to be in court today after being charged with attempted murder. This after police say that she threw her newborn baby into a dumpster. A security camera at a nearby business captured the incident on video. Hobbs police say that on Friday afternoon, Alexis Avila gave birth and then reportedly drove to a dumpster on North Thorpe, then flinging her newborn baby into the tra in a trash bag into the dumpster. Hours later, a group is seen rummaging through the dumpster, and then that's when they discover the newborn, untying the bag and finding the baby inside. Using the surveillance footage, police were able to track down Avila's car and say that she confessed to everything. And last word, Hobbs police say that the baby is okay.